Uh, Maureen in New York City, thanks for holding. Welcome to the line of fire. Hi, Dr. Brown. How are you? Doing just fine. Thank you. I wanted to talk about the issue as I'm an African-American conservative. I have been. I, I'm from Missouri. I moved to New York in 85, and I'm in the entertainment industry. Um, I come from limousine liberals, <laughs> limousine liberals, you know, everyone, you know, educated, two-parent family, blah, blah, blah. And um, so I moved here when I was 18. And so for me, you know, I began reading about politics when I was 10 years old communism, Marxism, socialism, mm. and a lot of the issues in black America, Dr. Brown, the level of ignorance, it, it, it really is palpable. I, I already knew the whole jive about racism. They've been doing it since I was 19. Right. In, they, in other words, know, using really race to a, using race to divide oh, and keep people down, well, et cetera. Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 you know, and the thing for me, when I moved here, I knew three things immediately. I come from a conservative, you know, and most African-Americans, as your prior caller said, we come from conservative backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Right was right. Wrong was wrong. White was white. Black was black. Man was man. Woman was, you know, I yep, mean, yep, yep. We, had, we were educated. We never got in trouble with the law. But when I moved here, you know, New York, a blue state, I knew three things about the Democrat Party, Dr. Brown, within a year. They hated Christians. They had a lust for abortion and they used race for everything. Mm. And so to me, President Trump, he's a guy from Queens. I've been here for 35 years. And, and I, what I find so despicable is that Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Jerry Nattler, Al Sharpton, all of these people know he isn't a racist because they went to him for everything, Dr. Brown. The rappers, the, 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 the socialites, the, the entertainers, everybody wanted to be in Donald Trump's presence. Once he put an R by his name for his political affiliation, everything changed. So to me, last night, you know, there are people that love the Confederate flag. I don't really understand it, but I don't, I'm not afraid walking by them. I'm not afraid of the NRA. I'm not afraid of militias. I don't want to be anywhere near an Antifa, social justice warrior, Black Lives Matter uh, uh, riot. I'm filming riots from my balcony. I live in Midtown in the 40s, Dr. Brown. I'm not trying to be melodramatic. Mm. It's all a ruse. It's all a ruse. And, you know, he is a street fighter. It was very frustrating on both parts. He has done more for African Americans in four years than Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, and the party in general since its inception. But if you don't know, all you, the Democrats know, Dr. Brown, they have to get black people apoplectic regarding race, buzzword, KKK, lynching, you know, uh, torches, you know, all of these things. Every cop wants to kill a black person the minute they see them. Uh, you know, inequality. It's all of these words, and then they're off to the next race until another four years. But black Christians that I know cannot decipher. They they are emotionally untethered, Dr. Brown. And I'm talking about Christians that I know. Um, I said to them, if you, are, if you believe in the blood of Jesus, how in the world can this even be a debate? I, I, it, you know, what is, just look at the platform. And that's what upset me about Chris Wallace. Just line them up. Do you believe in two genders? Do you believe in 2A? Do you believe in the Constitution? Do you want, you know, just because people don't even know the platforms of the parties that they claim to endorse, particularly my Democrat friends. They don't know. So they can say Donald Trump's a racist and he supports, you know, supremacy. They, these politicians know that it's a lie. It's a lie. And the, especially Cuomo, all of these guys in New York, I've been here 35 years. They know it isn't true because they wanted everything from this man before he put an R by his name. And you know, Maureen, you know, as they, uh, you, you as you speak to these issues with with such.
clarity. And obviously everyone on every side needs to look at the platforms, look at the issues. But it is interesting in terms of the attack on the person of Donald Trump. He's been the same person when 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 Hollywood loved him and people wanted to be on Celebrity Apprentice. He was the same. It was not like he was a nice, a nice guy. That no, he was insulting and profane, and he was the same person. Yeah. I mean, right. I mean, I don't like the profanity, but to me, we listen. We got slick. We got slick, Obama, with the great words and the good looks and the and the smile and you know, just an empty politician. And for me, you know, only being, a, you know, a, a, in the body politic, I've loved and I've read, you know, for decades, I clearly knew I didn't want a politician. Got it. I knew why I voted for him. Hey, Maureen, I've got to jump you know, in. I've got to jump in. I've got just seconds left, but we will post your call for others to hear because you, you speak for many. And let none of us be guilty of voting based on ignorance or emotion. Let us vote on what is best for America.